Hello guys, I got a request about making a video on remote jobs in robotics. So I thought, let's do it. Now, there are so many videos about remote jobs when it comes to pure software engineering. But when it comes to robotics, there aren't many. That is actually the case for a reason. Robotics is a tricky domain where you're working with both hardware and software. And when you have hardware dependencies, how do you work remotely, right? So that's why one, there aren't many videos on it. Second, it's also the case that there are so many software developers in the world. But when it comes to robotics engineering, the number of people working in this domain are so less as compared to pure software development. So that is why the demand is also less and the content creators in this domain are also quite less. But well, let's just talk about what opportunities can be there when it comes to remote jobs in robotics engineering. In most robotics companies, you will be working on building an actual robot. That means you need hardware. And when hardware is involved, working 100% remotely is not really possible. So that could be a bad news for some people. Well, I personally am a person who likes to work in the office because I work in this domain and I know how important it is for you to work with hardware. But the good news is there are certain job profiles within robotics where you can work remotely. First, let's divide the opportunities into two categories. One, startups. Second, MNCs. When it comes to startups, they are definitely and usually working on building a hardware system. So if that is the case, the chances of you working remotely as an engineer in a startup is quite less because they would want you to work with hardware. There are of course startups who are working with pure simulation and that is usually the case when their product is actually based on simulation and not the real hardware. If that is the case, then it's fine. Also, there are companies who are working on not building a robotics product, but providing a software stack to let other companies build a better robotics product. That is the case, then your chances of working as a remote developer is higher than a normal startup working on a hardware product, right? So my first idea would be eliminate startups who are working on a product which is based on hardware because there it's not a possibility for you to work remotely. Second, multinational corporations. Now, multinational corporations, even in robotics, will have a lot of roles which are pure software. In a big ass company, you have so many roles and not everyone will be working with the hardware, with the system, right? So when that happens, you will definitely find opportunities where you're working remotely. But the bad news is most bigger companies are moving back to working in person at least two or three days a week. So looking at that trend, it might again be hard. So looking at these two types of companies, we have established that there are startups where you can work remotely, although the chances of you working remotely are much less than a pure software domain job. Now let's go deeper and look at different subdomains you can work in even within robotics. Embedded and firmware engineer, it's not possible because you will be working with the hardware, right? So even if you're working remotely for a bit, it might be hard for you to get hired as a pure remote worker because you need hardware. Mechanical engineer, come on, who are we kidding? AI and computer vision developer, this is where things get interesting. There are quite a few job roles which are around computer vision where you can work 100% remotely. So this is the domain you would want to look at if you want to work remotely now or in the future. Of course, things will change in the future a lot more. So we cannot say that what I'm saying right now will be valid in the future. But as of now, computer vision, artificial intelligence is the domain you want to look at. C++ or Python developer. There are quite a few startups which are not small and not even like super big. And they have very specialized roles around C++ development and Python development. There you can get remote jobs. So if that is the case, you would want to hone your skills in C++ and Python as a software engineer and then work with the application of robotics in those companies. It's not uncommon for you to enter the field of robotics where you don't have an experience in robotics, but you are a kick-ass C++ or Python developer. It's just harder for you to do that if your aim is to work in a small startup, because in a small startup, you will not just be a C++ or Python developer. You will be a C++ developer, you will be a Python developer, you might be a computer vision engineer as well, you will also work on ROS. You will even work on firmware and embedded devices, and you might even work on some mechanical stuff. Me as an engineer, I work on all of these. I don't spend a lot of time on mechanical aspects, but I work on other things as well. So the bottom line is, if you're a kick-ass C++ or Python developer, you might want to look at startups which are like medium size so that you have these specific profiles. Also, there are two more interesting profiles we usually miss when we are thinking about remote jobs in robotics. The first one is simulation engineering. So talking about these bigger startups which have uh, these uh, simulation engineering opportunities, you might be a good fit there if you're good with simulations. So that is something you can also look at. Now, the last kind of opportunity, and of course, this is not the least, open source. There are so many companies in robotics who are working on open source development. Well, actually, if you compare it with pure software engineering, of course, the numbers aren't even close to each other, right? But 
that's that's just robotics you can't really compare it with pure software engineering anyway for example there are so many ros packages which are maintained by other people and other companies you might want to start contributing there and work your way up now if you're a good engineer and you are working well with open source you might be hired remotely because open source is something you can do remotely for most of the opportunities i didn't intend to make this video listing down all the kind of opportunities because we can all google search there right all you need to do is look at computer vision look at simulation engineering look at c++ and python roles in either big startups or medium sized startups when it comes to small startups try it but it might be super hard you can definitely work as a freelancer though for a bit because even small startups need a lot of talent so they keep looking for freelancers for shorter roles and of course if you are really good you will get more and more projects from them so freelancing is another kind of opportunity which is available across the board when it comes to startups even in robotics but it's not really about full time remote job in robotics right so i will not go deeper into that but that is definitely definitely a possibility now this was my opinion about robotics and remote work in this domain as i said before i did not want to list any companies or any specific websites for you to look at computer vision jobs simulation engineering jobs c++ python jobs or any other remote jobs you can find but if you want to look at one of the good websites angel list is a good place to look at apart from that it's all about looking up on the internet i personally would highly recommend angel list also bear in mind that this is based on my experience working in europe and india personally i'm a person who wants to go to work in the office and work on the product itself because i work across the spectrum when it comes to robotics engineering i work with software development ros design and development computer vision firmware engineering so for me i really really have to be with the system for me to see what's happening so i do not prefer working remotely and as i said before if you want to work in a small startup it's just a very hard deal but definitely look at other opportunities as i said before i hope this video gives you insights on these kinds of jobs i'm sorry that it wasn't a video where we would just list down different opportunities and be all happy about it because let's face the truth robotics as a domain is new it needs hardware and it is just harder for us to find remote jobs there i wanted to be very truthful about what the situation is in the domain and why is it so it's the case for a reason right because it is a domain which requires human presence most of the times while remote opportunities are less they are definitely not zero it all depends on us looking for these opportunities and being very smart about it and choosing different domains where we can actually have the possibility of working remotely so that's all from my end for this video all of this is based on my personal experience up until today i'd love to know what you think about it and i will see you soon in the next video bye bye thank you